Hello everyone, this is Josh Hickey, the Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to the 51st episode of my long-form Let's Play of the Outer Worlds by Obsidian Game. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you've been with me for a while on this, so let's skip the intro part, but do note there's a link to the playlist in the description down below. Do also note that we stream this live every Wednesday from 7.30pm until 10pm Pacific Time on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Biscuit Eater. Well, with that all said, let's go ahead and skip all the pleasantries and cue the intro. Welcome back, you two folks. It's time to start our third episode of the night, and we made sure I have sounds on. We actually made it through three this time. Oh, I didn't see you before. We're going to steal you. So, can't get through here without Coach Silly's credentials. This is barred, so we got to go through here where I just got wrecked. So we're going to be a little more strategic this time around. And can you get some behind I'll you? Right up. My kind of action. Not like that. Well, good job, Captain. Yay, we made it through a lot better that time around. Got a key card of some sort. Sissy pig tumors. Yum. So I guess we probably could have played friendly. But I'm not interested in that. Not this time around. Punks. Y'all are punks. Plus, I'm not the I'm not the good guy here. I'm the bad guy. Cue the Billie Eilish music that I won't play because it is uh, copyrighted. Oh, I'm cleaning out your your stores. Thank you for the things I can sell. I really appreciate it. Definitely, uh, pretty well off for, uh... Ah, come on. Come on. Let me take it. I want to take it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Ah, okay. So, I'm not getting that one, apparently. Yep, just not gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Galley key card, another galley key card. Oh, come on, let me steal it. <laughs> Just completely render their ship immobile. Ah, so not fair. Bet you we're gonna find the same thing over here. Just leaving a sissy, sissy pig hoof on the floor. Animals. And nothing there either. Rude. Heck, going through your quarters, stealing all your doves. I would have gotten the key card later, but hey, that's, that's XP for me. Okay. 
do 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 don't mind the, don't mind the guy just stealing all your stuff from the bathroom ew okay yep what, that's... what was that make him regret it take him down i see it now <laughs> he's gone it's practicing then <laughs> Okay, and Ow, ow. Take it, take it. Hee hee. Lucky Spratfoot, hey! Okay, yay. So the Freebooters are pretty much gonna be gone by the end of this. Okay. Did they leave any bodies back here? Yeah. Yeah, so the Freebooters team have kind of been liquidated. At least partly. Okay, that's going to be my next area. So we got to do... Searching beforehand. Well, hey. Oh, I bet you this is a. Yeah, so that's probably because that door is probably going to be locked. Oh, that door is open. Interesting. Oh, hey! <laughs> okay, so we got our way back now. Real slick! Okay, so. There's the captain. Not ready to deal with the captain quite yet because I want to see what's. What's on the back end of this? Oh, hey. Ash pile item. Loot. Go back up here. Go through that hole we saw. I have to sneeze and apologize in advance because it's going to be loud. <coughs> More in there? <coughs> Excuse me. Wait, let's see if there's one more. Alright, we're good. Alright. Go ahead and... Make sure I sanitize. Let us sneeze. Alright. Okay, same captain quarters. Let's talk. You know, I feel a little snubbed. We were having a civilized conversation over that intercom, and you just walked off. Now you're barging into my office, muddy and tracks all over my floor. A little respect for the ship. Is that too much to ask? Hey, you're boarding my ship, asshole. Yeah, but I had every intention of respecting the upholstery. I would have had you spaced or shot in the bathroom or something. Your adjutant to Conde's hired gun. I don't know why you've taken an interest in Gorgon, and frankly, I don't want to know. 
You and I are in a bit of a situation. I don't get paid unless you're dead. And a man's gotta make a living. You understand. I got bad news for you. Done. So we got his credentials. Now let's see what's on his computer. Welcome, welcome Coach Stilly. Critics agree that terminal's built by... Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, we'll hack it in a moment. Messages. From Error. Your target is the Unreliable, a small, inconsequential ship with no significant defenses. Freelance are owned and operated, captained by a two-bit smuggler who goes by Alex Hawthorne. Intercept the Unreliable. Eliminate Hawthorne and any crew in your way. I have sent you in advance, along with a tracking device for your astrogator. From Firefly Company Office. To the Freebooters team coach and or his slash her replacement. Firefly, Co Firefly Company is currently experiencing an exciting period of growth and change. We're happy to announce that three different companies, including but not limited to Spacer's Choice, are currently in the process of negotiating for ownership of Firefly Company's properties. As part of these negotiations, Firefly Company has agreed to dissolve its rebooter's possible property, thus not to challenge, compete with, undermine, or in any way disrespect the Tossball teams owned and deployed by any company interested in acquiring us. We are pleased to inform you that the Firefly, Co Firefly Company has formally renounced its ownership of the Freebooters Tossball brand and all related properties. Furthermore, please be informed that all Tossball related positions, including but not limited to players, coaches, maintenance, auto mechanical units, and laborers, are now formally dissolved. Please be reminded that your lifetime indenturement contracts have not been dissolved. Your labor and services remain the sole property of Firefly Company into perpetuity. Please be reminded that offering your services to a competitor is strictly contrary to colony law and may be punishable with arrest, imprisonment, mandatory re-education, and or a surprise audit. Furthermore, any independent contract work, also known as freelancing, is strictly contrary to the terms of your lifetime indenturement contract. Your positions have been discontinued as a receipt of this message. Notices. On following instructions. Team, there's a time for improvisation and a time for following instructions. Understanding the difference is more of an art than a science. If you find yourself thinking up a creative... Hold on. All right, my screen just suddenly moved. Uh, if you find yourself... <laughs> <laughs> thinking up a creative solution to a problem, ask yourself, what are some of the consequences of my solution? Am I behaving in a way consistent with the values of the free freebooters? Let me give you a practical example. Say I asked one of you to repair the piping in my laboratory. Lavatory. I understand that we've got a bit of a part shortage here in Halcyon, so you might try to improvise, using a plasma rifle instead of a welding torch, for example, or toss ball sticks instead of chisels. These are all terrible ideas. Why, you ask? If you think about it, the answer would be obvious as a hole in my laboratory wall. Don't be sorry, be better. <laughs> On practice. Team, practice is important. The best possible players devote every waking moment to the study of their craft. Scripture tells us our lives are defined by our role in society. Our role is to play tossball. We are never off the field because we never stop being tossball players. Some of you took this advice to heart. You are practicing your pitch and your swing in the commons. I don't have to remind you of all the incidents, all of the incident involving a tossball in my entire case of Spectrum Red. Now, I understand you're all eager to play. We haven't had a lot of matches since corporate scuppered our team. But today, I had to pry a tossball out of a shattered terminal. That terminal could have been an, our astrogator. And then I would have had to space a party responsible, in accordance with team regulations. Please don't force me into a position where I have to discipline you. I expect you all to behave in a manner consistent with freebooter values, which includes only destroying equipment while on board an enemy's ship. Okay, and let's go ahead and hack for deleting that. Notice of Discontinuation. To the designated captain of this vessel, dear sir and or madam, this is an automated message. Please be informed that the following services, amenities, and products provided by the Firefly Company have been discontinued and or decommissioned. The Firefly Freebooters Tossball Team and all properties related therein, and all Firefly Company storage and transport ships in development or currently spaceworthy, and all maintenance and repair services provided by the Firefly Company vehicles, to Firefly Company vehicles, and all rations, medical rights, company uniforms, and designated domiciles belonging to Firefly Company. Please be informed that captaining a discontinued ship is strictly contrary to regulation and may be punishable with 
any or all of the following. Punitive fees, mandatory re-education, imprisonment. Firefly Company will not provide relocation or employment assistance for any discontinued worker. Damn. Rude. Hey, you got the short end of the toss ball stick there, buddy. I'm kind of glad I put you out of your misery. Okay, so now we go back through. And let's go to this part here. Eh, this is a little light machine gun, why not? Okay, that was more than was in his big, big old safe. Notice this vessel has been decommissioned by the Firefly Company. Please select an option. Tracking device. Active. Signal source. The unreliable. Signal position. Docked. Registered company. None. Unlicensed. Move tracking device. Under route. Inventory logs. Inventory and delivery logs. Error. This vessel has been decommissioned by the Firefly Company. This navigation terminal no longer maintains inventory and delivery logs followed following date of obsolescence. Please look them up. Open last entry. Accepted cargo. Firefly energy cells. Energy cells. Rebooters toss well team. Cargo delivery failed. Vendor no longer exists. Tar cargo delivery failed. Outpost no longer recognized. Cargo discontinued. Vessel de decommissioned. Yeah, sorry folks. Excuse me. Oh, that was productive. I thought we were safe in the Aether. Oh, well, I'm gonna have nightmares about this for weeks. I must say that there's been nary a dull moment since signing on with his crew. Got my head in the game, boss. Maybe we can talk when we're done here? Invading foreign threats detected. Deploying Pretty lethal like measures. Boss. Targets, bacteria, viruses, and human scum. Assholes interrupted my beauty sleep. I've been on the other side of a boarding dock enough to recognize amateurs. Hi, Cap. All right, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. I understand you have resolved your differences with our former boarding party. Are you ready to depart? Let's get going. Understood, Captain. Resuming our course. Oh, that was a fun little distraction. What were we doing? That's right, we were going to go see about telling Junlei about the, uh, the people in her uh, yeah, about the people pe people living in her Volodex. See if she wants me to get rid of them. Because why not? Because I'm playing as a horrible, horrible human being. Okay. How you doing, Junlei? Dr. Fenhelm, I hope you've reconsidered my offer to stay on full-time. My crew are never short on dents and bruises. I'm trying to live a more balanced life. Gun in one hand, scalpel in the other. I already knew it'd be easier to teach an automatic heart surgery than to change your mind. Fair travels, Ellie. You do know each other? Groundbreaker's a small town in a big ship, and anyone who spends any time here gets to know Jun Lei. We don't see a lot of competent surgeons on Groundbreaker. Dr. Fenhill is my on-again, off-again freelancer. I take it she'll be joining your crew full-time? I don't like to put a label on things. Let's keep it casual. 
If you ever decide to settle down, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. How's the unreliable treating you these days, Wildflower? Okay, I've decided I really love hearing you call me that, so... So keep doing it. I know what it means to have a crew. If you ever felt like jumping ship, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. Are you kidding me? I'm right here. You'll know when I'm addressing you, Captain. Um, thanks. But that wouldn't be... The Captain did get me out of Edgewater and all. I hope you're worthy of her loyalty, Captain. So do I, Parvati. Are you still happy with the Unreliable? I am, Captain. Happier than I ever been, really. Plus, I'm in space. Keep our girl in one piece and we won't have any problems, Captain. Okay, so she doesn't care. Fair enough. That's only that's only kind of me if I okay, so let's go back to the unreliable. And on our last step Yeah. <laughs> Hi Neon. Yeah. Um that was a fun one. And uh, welcome to the chat. Nice to see ya. Uh, we are about 20 minutes into the 40 minute final episode of the night. I'll be going on till about, well, about 20 more minutes. So n not quite 10 o'clock. But uh, yeah, so we I am well into Peril on Gorgon. To give you a little bit of a heads up since you're, you just jumped on. And I just, and I'm recapping for everybody anyways. Uh, just took care of one of the people that I needed to find off of Gorgon to get access to the two places I need to turn off the lockdown from. I uh, found one, got her, her her credentials, got one more that I need to go find over on Olympus, which is this guy right here. I actually get to go to the, one, one of the, uh, We've at the uh, previously locked areas. And let's see what's happening. Oh, and I also, uh, <laughs> I just got done taking care of some tossball pirates. If you didn't see that part, I won't, I won't spoil it any more than that. But yeah, tossball pirates. And we'll keep my current crew here, running with uh, Ellie and, uh, and with Ellie and Parvati. But again, thank you for joining. I really appreciate having you here. Well, this doesn't look good. At all. Oh, so you already got that far. Excellent. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not, uh, yeah. I, I got so far as him wanting to talk terms, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Forget this. You're all dead. <laughs> uh, this does not look promising. What happened to these poor folks? It can't be the storm that did this. Let's sell some stuff off real quick. Looks like nothing special there, so... Yeah, nothing special here. Let's sell you guys all off. Come on. There we go. Riveting content, that. Okay. Okay, there we go. We are good. I probably should have cleared out all this stuff first, but that's okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and... Great work! 
Alright, let's see what we got here. Reception log. Log entry data ranges, 1 through 110. Day 1, day 2, day 3, no visitors. Day 61, sometimes we experience long power outages. Sitting in the dark, listening to the storm beat at the walls, I got a lot of time to think. It begs to be let in. Would I, wh While I would pay to be let out. 109, no visitors. 100, 108, no visitors. 109, still no visitors. 111 to 150. Why are there a bunch of tailless sprats running around? The facility doesn't have... Don't have a sprat catcher on the roster. Maybe I should file a request with acquisitions for one. Teacup canids are famed for their ability to hunt sprats, after all, and for keeping people company. Day 116, no visitors. 17, no, no visitors. Can't finish my game of solitaire. Someone stole a handful of cards from the deck. Day 118, desk unmanned. Unsuccessfully hunted for the missing cards. Oh no. 151 to 250. 157, canid request was denied. 158. We've run out of caffeinoid. Our first restocking shipment isn't set to arrive until the new fiscal year. I guess that delivery will mark the facility's first visitors. Now, there's something to look forward to. Day 159. Did some digging in the system records. It turns out our, our suppliers are said to be... Our supplies are said to be delivered by... Get this. A crew of auto mechanicals. Day 182. Thought I heard knocking on the front door, but turned out to be just some thunder. Always thunder. Funny how it can sound like so many different things... A boom, a crack, a snap, knocking, laughing, dreams. Oh, poor thing. Day 251 to present. Two, day 277. I started venturing outside. At first I worried something fierce about all the lightning strikes. Sometimes the ele electromechanical turbine goes on the fritz without warning. But I'm out of cards and out of caffeinoid, and there's not much else to do. Day 301. Turns out I no longer need to feel safe. What I need, to feel is, al what I need is to feel alive. Outside the wind howls like a raging god... And the rain stabs into my throat like a thousand ti tiny frozen needles. And in that pain, well, I feel so very alive. Day two thir 322. My many and varied attempts to trigger an on-site inspection from the Special Committee for Auditing and Management have failed. Day 353. Sometimes when I look over the ledge, I think about what it would feel like. How easy it would be to simply tip forward, to plummet with all those clouds kissing my face, to fall away from the storm, to smile and break. Oh, poor thing. That's really sad. Like, incredibly sad. Okay, I don't have the orbital station key card. Keep it together, Kelly. Keep it together, Kelly. Just breathe, Kelly. Everything's gonna be all right. Knock, knock. This ought to be good. Who's out there? Oh, I want to make, I want the XP, but Hatch. Seriously, Captain. Hatch, who? Bless you. Bless you. Hey, I was gonna say that. Real classy. I'm so glad you're having a laugh at my expense. I'm the captain of my own ship. Open up, and I'll get you away from Olympus. Really? I would be indebted to you for life. But how do I know I can believe you? I have a very trustworthy face. I'll have to come out to assess it myself. Hold on. I'm opening the door. Let me just catch my breath. I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. Law, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. Oof. How can I help you help me get out of here? Who are you? I'm Kelly Marine, the receptionist. And before you ask, I wasn't manning the visitor's desk when the mechanicals went haywire. Because no one comes here. Not ever. Not since all us station workers were dropped off at the start of the project a year ago. Why are you working as a receptionist if no one ever comes here? You're an odd one, aren't you? No respectable company operates without a receptionist. Project's on a yearly rotation cycle. Once a year, anti clear reviews our work and decides if we get more rations, personnel, deadlines, that sort of thing. At first, I thought it was an honor getting assigned to a lab up in the ether high above Olympus. But I didn't know what it'd be like. 
day in and day out. How did you not lose your mind? I ask myself that question a lot, and then I realize I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Cabin fever sets in at about 90 days. Auntie Cleo's official term is contagious irritable claustrophobia, and it ain't covered by the company's medical policy. Know where I can find Dr. Lowe? If I had to guess, you'd probably find his body either in his office or the labs. Or heck, he could have been on the toilet. I don't know. Ooh. No bones about it, he was the smartest of us all. Maybe he evaded the automex too. Anything else you can tell me before I go? Like what? Why is everyone dead? Pink slip protocol. No, I meant, why did the automechanicals kill everyone? How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Hold on, this place is called Oops? Yep. Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Auntie Cleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. What's the purpose of this facility? What are you making? I'm not making anything. The research team, they were brewing up some improvement to Auntie Cleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area, though, so I don't know more <coughs> than that. What did you mean about taking a walk off a turbine platform? Just a feeling I got. Every day was the same as every other day. I felt like I was stuck in a circle, you know? Started imagining what it'd be like to break that circle. Station goes in a circle around the planet, so what if I just dropped off the edge? But after what I've seen... <coughs> after what happened... I don't want that anymore. I want to live. I've got a ship. Need a lift off of here? Do I ever... Drop me off on the Groundbreaker, and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Not so fast. I charge for transport. But you said if I open the door... Oh, all right. I'm not much in a position to barter. Take it. I swear this is all I have. Go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here. This is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Thanks, I guess. <coughs> oh. Sorry. Uh, as I m mentioned in earlier episodes and earlier in the... Uh, earlier in, in the uh, Twitch stream, I have a little bit of persistent cough. It comes and goes, but it's a reaction to the inflammation in my throat due to the smoke inhalation over the past couple weeks here. So, sorry about that. What's up here? This thing's orbit is stable, right? Ada checked before we docked. Captain? <laughs> If she did, I didn't ask her. I won't tell. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so... I can take a hint. Okay, so I went the long way around. Oh, hello, there's one. Oh, shoot.
Come on. Come on. Give me the... Here we go. Oh, wow. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, there. There's a bunch of dead mechanicals now. And dead people. Our one team is trash. Oh, man. Yeah, where did I put the... Oh, wait. almost forgot the gate was dead. That's good, actually. Okay, we'll go check on him in a moment. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Well, that's another part, another area. Before we go there, we'll want to double check down here. Anything. Anticleo. Anthracillin Plus team. Welcome to the project. What is Anthracillin Plus? Anthracillin Plus mint flavor. Works on hum humans plus canids. Just added a plus sign to the name. As you can see, branding is still working out the kinks. But luckily, we've plenty of time to finish the formula before they finalize the packaging and slogans. Now, let's get to work on brewing a bigger, better version of Anti's Anthracillin. Reminder, friends don't let friends self-test their product products. Don't have hack 1000 or 100. Project update. Notice, effective immediately. Team, we're temporarily redirecting our efforts to perfecting Dr. Lowe's proprietary Sky High Mix, which maximizes genius and productivity. After sampling Dr. Lowe's Sky High Mix, the team agrees that this will enable us to reach our original project goals better in the long run and is so worth a mo momentary detour. Project data. Our data folder. Files available for access. Meeting notes. A note on today's meeting notes. This record is abbreviated due to an unscheduled chemical leak that permeated the meeting room. The resulting and immediate inhalation of noxious gases caused double vision, hallucinations, an uncontrollable sense of giddiness, and projectile vomiting. Side effects occurred in all meeting participants. As, as such, we cut the time block down to one hour from the standard two hour review. review. Meeting notes. Dr. Lowe, where the devil is Sullivan? I told that numbskull if he missed one more staff meeting. Yes. He couldn't make it, doctor. He caught his hand in the specimen slicer again. People getting their hands caught in things. Oh, you mean his remaining hand? Not anymore. Snickering. What was that? I heard something. Nothing. No, I'm sure it sounded like it. Perhaps it was your imagination, Doctor. Right, right. What? When isn't it, Jasper? When isn't it? At any rate, he'll require a replacement. For his hands? Don't be asinine. For his productivity. We can't risk falling behind. Not now. Not when I'm at long last on the cusp of a breakthrough. You balance the mixture, then. Marvelous, Doctor. Ooh, liquor. I'll have Kel put in a, in a request for a personal tra personnel transfer. If we're very lucky, we can get a new body with the supply drop coming next month. Elsewise, we'll have to wait a year. No, no, no. This is unacceptable. I distinctly smell a hissing sound seeps from the vents. Coughing. What imbecile scheduled the testing release in this time block? The room is allotted for self-testing on Thursdays only. Laughing, laughing, laughing. Yates, I don't. Vomiting. End of meeting notes. Testing data. Sky High Mix Test Concoction 009B. Administered to administered Raptodon. Raptodon exploded. Administered lower dosage. Raptodon exploded more slowly. I have its test connection concoction 009C. Administered single drop to self. Woke on the turbine platform, naked, drenched, and holding a handful of, of severed sprat tails. Well, now I know why there's a bunch of sprats without tails. I have its test concoction 010. Misplaced calculations. Test concoction 010A+. Added mint flavoring. Tested on Canid. Breath markedly improved. Canid exploded. 
Progress report. Milestone one, met, met, not met, not met, not met, not met, in progress. Okay, dokie. So the question is, do I check out the extra area or do I go talk to Jasper? me just stealing a whole bunch of things oh you know what it's 40 minutes so it is time to well not take a break we're gonna go ahead and end for the night I'm gonna get myself healed here and we're gonna go ahead and close out the YouTube recording real quick here okay folks with that we're gonna go ahead and close out this particular episode of the outer worlds I do thank you for joining along on this journey with me, and I hope that you had as much fun watching this video as I had in recording it. That said, if you like what I'm doing, please make sure that you help me out with the YouTube algorithm. You know, the typical smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, a comment, do the do. You know what to do. Uh, do also make sure that you click the notification bell, that way you can know whenever a new video comes up on the channel. Beyond that, if you'd like to follow me on my various other social media platforms, I am on Twitter at MiskeyEaterYT on Facebook as The Biscuit Eater, and of course, I stream on Twitch as The Biscuit Eater as well. Again, thank you for coming along. Hope you had fun. And until I see you next time, folks, aim on, lovelies. Mm -hmm.